With the ten plagues, God sent a message throughout Egypt and throughout history. No oppressor is immune from punishment for the hardship caused upon another. To heal from the onslaught of the plagues, Egypt had no choice but to push Israel from its midst. With each plague, Moses came to Pharaoh and said, Shlach et ami, let my people go. Continuing on page 11. Only after the tenth plague did Pharaoh finally listen. We drink wine to lift the spirits, but we diminish this joy as we diminish our cups for each of the plagues brought against Egypt and for those we arrogantly bring upon each other. People all over the world suffer from the plagues of injustice and hate. We drain the glass one drop at a time. Dam Svardea Kinim Arov Dever Shechin Barad Arbe Hoshech Makat Bechorot Blood, frogs, lice, beasts, pestilence, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and the killing of the firstborn, and for the ignorance and arrogance that we blindly accept in the world. Then Pharaoh called upon Moses, demanding that Israel leave Egypt. Even as we celebrate freedom with this second cup, our joy is diminished, remembering the suffering that is too often the cost of freedom. The second cup of wine, I will deliver you from their service. Just as God delivered us from Egypt, we seek God's deliverance in every generation. Rabbi Stephen Weiss once wrote, True redemption will come to the Jew only if he bears his name and every burden imposed upon him by destiny with gleaming courage and with radiant nobleness. We raise the second cup knowing Rabbi Wise was right. And we sing Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Bore Pariha Gafen, Amen, and Chaim.